can do it. Hi everyone, uh, we are back on uh, Fintech TV with the Founding TV show. Uh, we are here at the Paris Fintech Forum and have the, again, great, great pleasure to have uh, Ron Malotra from uh, Rodzen, the CEO, founder of this very great startups in the insular tech um, ecosystem. Uh, Rowan is a, a great player because he knows very well, uh, he knows very well uh, uh, ecosystems, uh, not only in, uh, in, uh, in Asia or in US, but uh, better and better each day in Europe. Uh, Rowan, uh, when a startup has to raise fund, it's a hard job, isn't it? Hi Fabrice, good to see you again. Um, you know, raising money is actually one of the founding teams. One member of the founding team has to be exceptionally highly focused on raising money. Especially when you are doing certain kinds of startups, there are some businesses that don't require external capital and can be bootstrapped. But when you are trying to build a high growth company, venture capital and private capital can act as a really good catalyst for accelerating the growth of the company. Now, you know, less than 2% of companies get VC money. So it is exceptionally hard, but if you have a good idea, a clear vision and a team that can execute, there is more money out there than there is good talent and execution teams. So if you're have the right ingredients you should not have a problem in raising capital for your company it's uh, a matter of uh, uh, to provoke uh, inbound attraction uh, and the key piece you you have to embedded uh, since the beginning it's the team or which is uh, 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 what are the very key ingredient the very first ingredient is it the vision or is it the, uh, the talent of people or both? Because the vision, uh, talented people have vision, yeah. in fact. So, you know, when you begin a company, the vision is a very forward-looking statement. Um, and investors like to see people going after large markets with a clear vision. That's the first ingredient. But that's not the most important ingredient. I'll give you an example. Um, Uber started doing only private limousines, but it eventually transformed into a company that moves people all over the world using uh, taxis and Uber pools and shared rides, etc. So the vision is not always fundamentally clear, but you can begin with a spark of a vision when you start. The key thing that most invest investors look at early stage is the team. Does this team have the capacity to execute on whatever they are trying to build here? And I think the initial thesis is all about the team. Because if it's a smart team, it will be able to clarify the vision. It will be able to build on market opportunity and it will be able to grow the business quickly. And that to me is more important than anything else in the beginning of you know raising money so seed capital C series A as you go to series B and C they are not looking at just the founding team they are looking at an established team and they are looking at metrics in the early stage there are no metrics you have an idea and an energetic team as you go into series B and C people are looking at what kind of metrics are you executing on and do you have the institutional capability of continuing to deliver. So the that becomes, the process becomes very important as you are scaling. Now, when you talk of process, um, most startups begin with zero process mm -hmm. and a lot of chaos and then move into an institutionalized process-based mm -hmm. company. And that's why you have to focus on building the team right way. Is it the, the same team? Because at the, these two different stages, uh, the reflex, mm -hmm. uh, the habits is not the same. Uh, the core team has to, to do both, yeah. to have the capability to do both. Um, how to build this kind of team and to maintain it in the, during the time? So there are two aspects to it. When you start, you want a lot of generalists. 
people who are good at many things right who are good at uh, administrative function but can also manage marketing then you hire people who are good at technology um, so you start with a team that's very generalist in their outlook so they can do many things well quite well as you grow you want start hiring specialists these specialists are incredibly great at one particular thing you know so they, they may be great at back end they may be great at marketing they may be great at social media so as you progress you move from a team of generalists to a team of specialists now one of the key things that most founders need to understand and founding teams need to understand is every time you hire someone they will be better than you at something so you have to continuously creep keep growing as a founding team as well if you don't grow then you eventually are not able to support the team that you have built so our goal always has been to hire people who are better than us it's and then to be able to support them but that requires constant learning internally as well it's a, a, a deep uh, uh, personal development capability in fact mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, key founders how do you uh, make your own due diligence for example uh, to hire uh, uh, your uh, partner uh, what kind of due diligence do you process to make your own assessment and to say okay now you are part of the team you are we are a team and you recognize each other as a team mm -hmm. but it's a, a key and a difficult alchemistry to determine and to say okay go no go so when you try to hire someone first you look at hard skill is do they have the skill that we are looking to bring on board especially as you hire more senior people who have come from established companies is do they have the skill that you want to bring on board the second thing that you said which is actually the perfect thing is the alchemistry or the personal chemistry because founding teams go through many ups and downs together so you need that personal chemistry to stick and bond together over a long time and so the second thing you're looking for is do you have the personal chemistry do you believe that you can spend 15 hours a day with this person and you know you become like family over time so that is the second thing but if you get a good mix of these two i believe founding teams get forged under the pressures of a startup right when you pursue a common vision and you spend a lot of time and you accumulate the scar tissue that's required to pursue that vision you become closer and then you really start executing as a team in the beginning you hope this will become a team but as you start building on the company that's when you really become a team thank you very much uh, Juan, uh, because uh, it's uh, very very grateful and very helpful to have the vaccine of the startups. Startups is a hard job. It's not only playing baby foot uh, uh, and free time. Uh, it's really, really a hard job. And people often uh, subestimated the, the, the job of the startup job. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much again, uh, Ron. And we are sure we got uh, the pleasure to have you again uh, on the Funding TV show. Thank you. Thank you, Fabrice. Welcome. See you.